Hey there, it's Scott Tripp, Balloon Master General for this episode of the Balloon Blast Video Show. This is episode 8, which should be June 22nd, I believe. I'm still a week behind trying to catch up, but let's say June 22nd, why not? Um, I have had a problem trying to keep these episodes at a reasonable length. I really want to shoot for 12 minutes, so let's keep it simple. I want to do two, maybe three things this week, and we'll call it a day. We're going to look at a new product, we're going to look at a balloon design, and a quick upcoming event, and that'll be it. So, let's start off with new product! Alright, the new product for this episode is the black 6-inch Geo Blossom from Qualitex. Very nice. Um, we've had Geos for years. In fact, I think Geos have been around since before I started balloon twisting. And there was a bit of a scare a few years back. Um, probably, was it 05, 06? Yeah, around 2005, the Geo Blossoms almost disappeared. The mold that they used to make the Geos the molds were wearing out, and uh, Geo Blossoms are a very special balloon. If you can see that, there's a hole in the middle, which means it's impossible to dip a mold into latex, have it dry, and remove it from the mold. There would be a, a piece holding it on the mold. So Geo has a two-piece silicone, silicone, <laughs> silicon, silicone. So a Geo has a two-piece silicone mold that snaps together and comes apart. So the balloon is dipped. The mold is removed, pulled out, and you have your balloon. And I'm not sure if that's a Qualitex trade secret, but the Geo Blossom is patented, so you can actually see the patent online. Um, so when the molds were wearing out, they're very expensive molds to replace. They're not just a tube or a shape, you know, they're two pieces of expensive material. We had a few months where we did not know if we would get our Geos back or if they were extinct. In fact, <laughs> a lot of his fault. Cases and cases of Geo Blossoms. And I think Robbie Furman still has a lot of bags of the old Geo Blossoms. Um, but at Twist and Shout 06, I believe, St. Louis, Betty Vlamis, in front of a room full of 300 twisters, said, You'll get your Geos back. And we have them back. Thank you so much, Betty. These are awesome. Now, I know that most people watching the show, we're all balloon twisters. We like geos, not necessarily to make flowers, although a lot of us use them to make flowers, but we look for what can be done with the balloon aside from what it's intended for. A geo blossom essentially is a flower shape, or, you know, it's essentially a flower shape. But, like computer hackers trying to make programs do what they're not intended to, we are sort of balloon hackers, right? So we try to take a balloon and use it for something that's not necessarily intended for. I think Ralph Dewey was the first, probably, to pioneer um, turning a geo blossom inside out. And uh, let me use a hand pump. Geos are notorious for shattering in your face. Um, there are five separate chambers, and each one, you know, if there's a weak spot in one, it'll pop. Um, but anyway, Ralph Dewey found that if you turn a geo blossom inside out, you have a, sort of a heart shape, or what looks really good for like a an ant or an insect mandible, but it also gives you this little attachment point right here. You can attach more balloons to this. Um, very useful. Now, the really good thing about the uh, new geos is when they started reproducing the uh, geos again, they gave us a longer nozzle. The old ones were almost impossible to tie. And uh, once again, let me use a hand pump because <laughs> Especially the older Geos, you would have one and three, one and four would pop upon inflation. Ah, lucked out there. So you block your Geo, and you only have that much nozzle. So really have to wrap it around your finger, hope for the best, and tie. So you have uh, just that much nozzle. The new ones, uh, that extra quarter inch or so <laughs> nozzle. Gives you all this room to tie, or if you wanted to stretch it out, you can uh, distort the balloon a little bit more and tie at the end here. I'm not entirely sure why you would, but hey, 
some more room. Hook it back in there. So yeah, love the geos, but that's not what we're here for. What we're here for is to look at the black six inch geo blossom. These six inch black geos are really solid. Um, the color is really good. It's the perfect thickness or thinness, depending on how you look at it. Glass half full, half empty. Um, you never know what you'll get with a black balloon. You know, every once in a while you get a really bad batch of uh, six inch hearts or 260s where the latex feels oily or it's too thin. And, you know, that's really not the manufacturer's fault. It's really hard to make a uh, pure black balloon. You have to really water the latex down with pigments to get a darker color, especially black. So, um, yeah, every once in a while you get a bad batch. But these geos, at least this particular bag, are awesome. The perfect black balloon. You can't see through it at all. It has a really good feel, good twistability. Perfection. Now, here's a tractor that I made. I've been making a tractor of roughly this design for about a dozen years. I found it on the uh, Balloon HQ guide section where they have the, uh, the older balloon twisting instructions. And uh, Bonnie the Balloon Lady, Bonnie Davis, was really nice. So Bonnie typed up the instructions and we printed that in latex soap number two. Um, her version was slightly different, but this version, I've always used geos for the back tires. And with no black geos, you'd have white tires or pink or yellow, purple. Never made sense. Finally, with black geos, we have the tires. Or you can make a monster truck or, you know, basically, <laughs> I guess we use them for tires. And a lot of people really want a uh, six inch donut preferably in black, to make tires for race cars or any type of car. But I don't think we'll ever see that. The reason we have uh, Geo Blossoms is because a lot of people use them to make flowers, especially your, uh, your clowns and your shiners use a lot more of these than I do. Your average balloon twister buys a few bags of Geos and they will last for months. So we might be 2% of the market. So. We can make a lot of noise, but, you know, bottom line, Qualitex is a business. They exist to make money, and if we won't buy enough of them to be profitable, there's no reason for them to produce them. So, be realistic. How often would you buy a bag of six-inch black donuts? You go through one a month, two months, one every six months, you know, take a few thousand twisters using a couple a week for that to even make sense. And even then they'd need new molds and it just wouldn't work out. So let's be happy with what we have. We have six inch geo blossoms now. Really awesome. Those will have to be tires for our cars, but hey, it's better than what we had, right? And of course we can always use a 646 um, tulip twisted. Why not? So go ahead, buy a bag, play around, see what you can come up with. That's the fun of blue twisting, right? Get a new product, experiment, have fun. Even if nothing new comes out of it, eh, you have new stuff to play with. New toys in the toy box. Geo Blossoms. Qualitex. Six inch. Black. New product. Yeah! Okay, let's look at a balloon sculpture instruction thing, whatchamacallit here. <laughs> I've really been flying through this episode. I'm trying to record two episodes today to hopefully get back on schedule and maybe get a head start into next week. So pardon me if I'm really racing through everything. But um, this week's balloon sculpture instruction, I want to do a Captain America shield. Now with the Avengers movie out, Captain America actually had his own movie out before that, but... Captain America is really hot right now. You're getting all these requests for it. And ideally, I would like to have a new sculpture design, field test it, make it a few dozen times that first week, um, tweak it, change it around, make it a hundred, two hundred more times, and really make sure that I'm making it the most efficient way and uh, iron out all the wrinkles and make it really great. But this one is about two weeks old right now, and I've made it a few times, but... You know, time is of the essence, the movie's hot right now, um, strike while the iron is hot, whatever all the other cliches are, let's just do it right now. This is a quick, fast, easy Captain America shield. 
It's a little bit smaller. You can make a better one by weaving six balloons together or, you know, make something better. But this one is the happy balance and compromise between fast and good, in my opinion. <laughs> it's uh, good enough to get the job done, fast enough for line work. For this, you need the spectrum of balloon sizes, a 160 white, 260 blue, Robin's egg blue, and a 350 or 360, depending on where your allegiances lie, in red. Now, I use an electric pump. I don't want to do that on this show because it makes a lot of noise and the camera really amplifies the sound of an electric pump. So, we're going to hand pump this to about yay big. In case you're wondering, Yay Big is about fully inflated with a little bit more than a hen's width left. We're going to stretch this out, hopefully not too loud. Oh yeah, ah, that's loud. I was worried about the electric pump making noise. Now, starting with the knot end, always with the knot end starting, um, make a round bubble about a finger's width. And follow that by another bubble of roughly the same size. Lock twist. Well, that's not the same size, is it? There we go, that's the same size. Lock twist together, pulling the knot up into the twist. You want the knot on this side of the twist right here to help lock it in place. And further lock it in place by split pinch twisting. Yeah. Oh, I made up a new verb. All right. You have something that looks like so. Whoa! In 3D. Now, we need to make bunch of bubbles. I want them to be uniform size, so let's use a hand width to measure. Oh, this way. We're going to make a hand width bubble, one inch finger bubble, followed by a hand width bubble, and that's one star point. We have a five pointed star. So, duplicate that. Hand width bubble, yep, finger width bubble, hand width bubble, number two. Put my pinch twist on opposite sides here. Okay. And lift bubble, one inch bubble, and lift bubble number three. And lift one inch finger, and four. All good. And I'll need one more. And lift bubble. One inch bubble, and with bubble. There you have a five pointed star with a pinch twist on either side. And this piece right here. Whoa! Yay! That piece is no longer with us. So. Five pointed star. Straighten it up. Now we need our blue balloon. Inflate. Whee! With the hand pump, tie it up. Now the blue is going, it'll be the first circle um, inside here. So we want to measure, and I would say that needs to be about, what, three inches? Twist a bubble. But really twist a bubble. Go around four times or so. Slip that in between two of your uh, hand width bubbles on one star point. Yeah. Make another one the same size. Twist it around a lot. If you only twist it two or three times, then when you pull it through, it may come undone. And you really want it to stay that same size. If there's not enough twist, the air might go between segments here. So, twist around a lot, slide it through. Twist it around. Now there's a lot of repetition in this one. Slide it through. Alright, when you get to the end, I'm going to pop the rest off. Poor little fella. Tie the balloon. And now, you tie these two balloons together. 
through the uh, last star point. To do that, I'm gonna stick the uh, end out here a little bit, tie in a square knot. I just had to edit out my over explaining of how a square knot works, so don't worry, you didn't miss anything there. Anyway, tie into a square knot, trim the ends, <laughs> knuckle that in there. Now you have the middle of the shield. Take all those one inch uh, bubble, spacer bubbles, and pinch twist. or 360 or 3 whatever balloon, stretch and inflate. And it could be about that, yeah. And tie, won't you? Good. All right, that goes into one of your pinch twists. Make sure that when you do that, do this so you can see, pull the knot around the pinch twist. Make sure the knot gets in there. And, uh, Because if you don't, then the balloon will have sort of this gap. It won't really nestle in there very well. All right. Determine how really wide you need it to be. Twist the bubble that size. Go around the pinch twist. Good. Same thing here. Determine how big it needs to be. Go around the pinch twist. And again. And, well, you know the drill by now. Discard the excess. Tie. And then you join these two. Tie into a square knot. Avoiding over explaining that turn again. Trim the ends, and there's a Captain America shield. Now, if you do this right, sometimes you have enough left over of the white balloon to make the little handle of the shield. Of course, I didn't this time, so I cheated. <laughs> Got this piece. So I guess this would be three and a half balloons. If you have a little bit of a scrap white, 160, tie it into a loop. That's your handle part, so your hand can go in here and you can wear the shield. That just ties around, let's see, I want this side out. Ties on the pinch twist in the middle. All good? All right. Voila, Captain America shield. I guess I shouldn't say voila, Captain America, but <laughs> voila, Captain France. Anyway, there's your Captain America shield. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> oh, this episode's a mess, huh? <laughs> All right. Upcoming events. We haven't had a balloon jam in Nashville since April. Um, in May, Sam and I went to Louisville for their jam. Um, in June, it was just way too busy to schedule anything. July is pretty much the same. August, we have Cadabra coming up, so we might not have a balloon jam here. So Nashville is on hold, I guess, until uh, <laughs> until we do something about that. However, Louisville is plowing forward. We went to their first balloon jam, and they've been monthly ever since. And they are hitting big time in July. On July 9th, 6 p.m., Simply Shona is hosting a workshop class, jam, I'm not sure what the official title is, but that will be pretty awesome. It's at 1401 South Hurstbourne Parkway in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, contact me if you need more information, or CJ Nelson has set up a Facebook page for the Louisville Balloon Jam. If you're within driving distance, anywhere near Louisville, you should be on that page. Anyway, the class is $35, but 
it includes a DVD, which would be a $35 value. So, Shona is traveling a long way. She's gone from Pennsylvania to uh, some sort of clown convention. I'm not sure what state. Hitting Louisville on the way back. So, you know, she's paying gas. She's paying overnight hotel expenses. So, 35 bucks with the free DVD is really a bargain. You know, she's an awesome person. She does really great work. Um, and I think Dustin might be there, too. He... Actually won first place in the large sculpture at Last Twist and Shell. So, if you have both of them in one room at the same time, <laughs> it's a no-brainer. It's worth the trip. I have to miss it, though. I have a 10 a.m. show that day. I have a 6 p.m. show. There's no way for me to be there, and that hurts. <laughs> I really want to be there. She's doing her designs with the Batelitex big bare heads, and, uh, you know, anything she teaches is gold, so... Do yourself a favor. Be sure you're there for that class. And that's it for upcoming events right now. If you have a jam, a class, workshop, anything that people need to know about, anything the viewers here would like to know, send me an email. I'm at latexsoup at hotmail.com or put a comment at the bottom of the uh, YouTube page here. Um, let me know and hopefully we'll mention it. All right. We're done. That's it. That's it. Episode 8 of Bloom Blast Video Show is over. Thank you so much for, uh, for watching. If you want future episodes, subscribe. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe. If you're watching this somewhere else, subscribe to me on YouTube. Um, if you want more balloon stuff, check us out on Facebook.com slash Balloons. And we'll see you here probably in a couple of days with Episode 9 of the Bloom Blast Video Show. Thanks very much. Take care. spend a lot of time with balloons when you actually fix your microphone clip with a uh, lip of a scrap 160. Onyx black 160 that is. <laughs>